Alright guys, good morning. It's MUFC Daily on Full Time Devils. It's a very, very good morning in it today. Off the back of a fantastic win against Arsenal Old Trafford for Man United. I am absolutely buzzing. Did not see that one coming. Anyway, I'm here on MUFC Daily to go straight into all the latest Man United news. And today, you can imagine what a lot of the articles knocking about are all about. So we'll start with The Telegraph, who have actually done an article on how we managed to beat Arsenal and also about the amazing game of Marcus Rashford and where he could go from here. He had an absolutely fantastic game and the lad, I tell you what, I think for 60 minutes in the game against Midgeland, I thought he was in over his head. And then after that 60 minutes, since then, going on to the Arsenal game, he's been absolutely class, making fantastic runs, showing fantastic pace. He's got that eye for a finish. His positioning seems brilliant. He seems like a very, very talented young player. However, before the Arsenal game, I didn't actually want him to start, you know. Genuinely, I thought it's too early for the ladder. Nobody's had a good game against Midgeland, but this is a different opposition. Massive game. Let's put Memphis there. Let's not start a young lad. Too much pressure on him. That's why I'm not a football manager. He proved me and he proved a lot of other people wrong uh, coming on, starting the game and just being absolutely brilliant. Taught Arsenal at new one. Absolutely excellent performance from the lad. And now you can't really drop him for the next one now, can you? Four goals in two games. You probably should retire now. That's a quite a good record, isn't it? Uh, anyway, moving on from that, uh, let's go on to something the Independent has been talking about. And they said before the game, who is Timothy Fuzu Menza. We've actually got newspapers doing articles about who our players are. Well, he did come on in the game, of course, didn't he, after Marcus Rojo picked up an injury. And I tell you what, I was very, very impressed with him as well. Just as much as Rashford, you could say, because he did an excellent job there yesterday. Uh, he seems like he's got a lot of strength about him. He's not scared to go through a player. Uh, his positioning's good as well. He really helps out those attackers by getting himself into a bit of space if they need someone to give it to, to get out of trouble. He, yeah, his tackling yesterday was superb. There was one particular one towards the end of the game where he made the tackle, played it to Yanazai. Yanazai cut inside and it was just a brilliant bit of play and maybe a good sign of what we've got to look forward to in the next few years. But 18 years old, Timothy Fuzu Menza, I definitely have high hopes for that lad because I've heard everyone screaming about him and I never really got on the hype until he came on yesterday and he really did uh, perform fantastically. Well done, Timothy Fuzu Menza. Man United players who are over two years younger than me. I will never get used to this. Uh, another player who made his debut, of course, yesterday was James Ware. Um, obviously, it was right at the end of the game, so he didn't really have any time to make an impact, but he did make that clearance, I think, right at the end of the game. Uh, which uh, which found its way almost culminating in us scoring again, but the final whistle was blown. But yeah, James Ware, another player coming on, making his debut. Very happy about that. Not seen much of that lad. Uh, I would definitely like to see much much more of him in the uh, in the first team because evidently when we start youngsters, they perform well. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not even a risk anymore. So I'm quite happy we're seeing him in the first team. Uh, I saw him celebrating as well yesterday when we scored the when Herrera scored a thing. That was absolutely fantastic as well uh, when he was warming up. But yeah, James Ware, another name to look out for who made his debut against Arsenal. We're starting players from the academy against Arsenal. Absolutely just taking the mick we are at the minute. Uh, and moving on from that, our captain appears to have got his Twitter password back. Uh, Wayne Rooney, of course, famous for his old tweets years and years ago. He's uh, barely English tweets uh, and then he went for a while where he didn't really tweet like that anymore it was all just professional stuff evident that his agent has took his twitter password off him but now it looks like he's got it back because all he did yesterday was straight away tweet to Piers Morgan just saying hi and the H wasn't even capitalised that's how you know it's actually Wayne Rooney um, but yeah nice to see Wayne Rooney trolling Piers Morgan again because let's face it he is probably the most insufferable Arsenal fan in the world and deserves Everything he gets. The man is an absolute clown. Uh, anyway, moving on from that, uh, the Express have done the most ridiculous uh, rumour ever. They've reported the most ridiculous rumour ever. And that is that Man United are going to be selling Luke Shaw in the summer. And we're all set for uh, life without him. It's not going to happen. He broke his leg early on in the season after a fantastic start to this season. Uh, all it depends on now is if he comes back as strong. He's not even had a chance to come back for bloody hell's sake. You know what I mean? Let's see how he does in the first team when he does come back. And hopefully we don't rush him as well. And hopefully next season Luke Shaw goes on to have an absolutely fantastic season. And carries on the performances that he was putting in at the start of this one. Guys, 
Get your comments in below. Tell me about that ridiculous Luke Shaw rumour. It's never going to happen, is it? Uh, tell me about all the youngsters playing yesterday. Fuzzy, Menzo, Rashford, James Ware. Absolutely fantastic to be playing them against Arsenal as well. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Wayne Rooney, have you decided to click that follow button again? Now that he's got his own Twitter password back. Get your comments in below anyway, guys. I've been Gaz on Full Time Devils. See you in a bit.